Hello YouTube, this is Bowtied Media, and today I have a review of Elenium's Fallen Embers album. Elenium is here with his fourth studio album, the first after he completed his trilogy of albums. For those of you that don't know, Elenium has been a mainstay in the electronic music industry since his first album came back in 2016, Ashes. For five years now, Elenium has been the frontrunner for popular melodic dubstep and future bass music that is more often than not really popular and hits the radios. Looking at the trilogy of albums, Albums, I would say they progressively got worse for me, in my opinion, with Ascend, the third and latest one other than this album, uh, being a significant downgrade from the first two. So going into this project, Elenium was on a downwards trajectory for me, and I was hoping this album, Fallen Embers, was going to turn that around. But it did not, and quite honestly, this was another big downgrade from the last album, being Ascend, which is already a downgrade from Awake. Okay, so I've said I don't like it, but let's talk about what I do like about the album first. Elenium has really refined his style of music and production the last five years into something that I would aptly name commercial melodic dubstep. Generally, I think mellow dub goes in two different directions. One is really hard, in your face, just wall of sound music mellow dub, or the more atmospheric, uh, emotional stuff that has a lot more movements to the song. And with that, I think Elenium has taken the latter route there of being more emotional and long drawn out, although his music kind of dumbs down the lyrics a little bit for more commercial or wider appeal, and he often tends to remove one or two of the movements of a song that they would normally take for, I guess, radio runtime. And with that, the end product is something that appeals to a wide audience and is both loved by the EDM community. It's come to a point now where I would say that 90% of what he makes is for the commercial success for a wider popper audience, and 10% of his music is more geared towards the EDM loving community, where back in the past with his first album, it was pretty much 100% just for the EDM people. All that is to say, if you love those words, if, if commercial melodic dubstep is like, yes, I love that, you will love this project and you will love Elenium. Pretty much all the songs on this album could be categorized into that kind of genre, that thing I just made up. Personally, I do enjoy the style quite a bit and I've been a huge fan of Elenium for a long time, but the style isn't my absolute favorite. I do quite like it though. Another thing I think Elenium did quite well on this project and he's done historically in the past is creating a solid atmosphere. Sometimes that can be the hardest thing for a producer to create and can be make or break for some artists. Elenium has always been good at making and creating space for you to kind of just feel like a pseudo emotional track that he just kind of lets you join in with him and just kind of sit there and just be like, oh, okay, and, and feel your own type of way about each track. It's also important to note that while Elenium works a lot with other artists in terms of features with both production and vocal features, this is the first album of his four with no solo songs. That means that every single song on this project has a either production feature or vocal feature, or both. And I think this can be taken in a variety of ways though. I do think it is impressive to have so many hands in the cookie jar and still make a whole project that is both cohesive and matches the same tonal elements all throughout the runtime of the project. But on the other hand, one could say that he relies too much on his features and that the album isn't enough of just him and he calls on other people to do that, but I think it's actually just disrespectful and arrogant to the effort that Elenium puts into his project, but that is something that could be said. But ultimately, I think that with the features on this album, that more often than not, they take something away from the project than adding something to the project. So now let's really get into the stuff that I don't like about this album. The two songs that I heavily disliked because of their features were Paper Thin and First Time. Both vocal features felt really disconnected from the rest of the project and in turn made the production kind of sound also disconnected and not quite as similar or cohesive with the rest of the songs. By far, the thing I hate the most on this album is the vocal processing on Paper Thin. Oh my gosh, that thing is just unbearable for me to listen to. And I think this is a really good example of how I think the features take away more from the album rather than adding. Because I thought In My Mind with Haleen and Excision was a top shelf song, it's my favorite from the album, but I thought it was just a good Elenium song, that whole song, where Paper Thin, I thought, was awful and unbearable, and the cons far outweigh the pros in my in that case. Something about those two tracks I hated just felt super cheesy and bland and unnecessary and just not for me. And speaking of cheesiness, Elenium really likes to tug on those heartstrings. But for me, they are more often than not uh, laughable and just so surface level in some of his lyrics and what the narratives that he's portraying, they just feel like, 
ah, this is just so just pop oriented and and ah. Because I think it's that 90% of Elenium writing for commercial success or for radio friendliness, he's writing stuff that will appeal to more people and just generalizing about things and just la la and this and that and heartbreak and all that kind of stuff when he's not really writing anything from the heart, it seems like. Now, I don't know Elenium personally, but when this man is writing album after album after album of songs about uh, heartbreak and a lack of love and tough relationships and strain and all that kind of stuff, when he has a supermodel girlfriend and a million dollar mansion, that just feels slightly disconnected to me. And maybe that lyricism comes from the features on a lot of these songs, but he's been doing it again and again and again and again. So I think it's a lot of just him. So I very personally can't fall for his super emotional stuff that tugs on your heartstrings. It just feels so surface level to me and far removed from anything that he's actually experiencing. Going back to that point where I think Elenium's music is more geared towards commercial success and pop friendliness, that just isn't so much my style nowadays. I loved Ashes for how unique and interesting it was to listen to, especially for the first time. Back in 2016, it felt like a breath of fresh air in the EDM industry, and you just kind of knew this artist was going to hit it big. And hit it big he did, and since then, he's sort of just taken the safe approach of making that same album kind of again and again and again, just with more pop-friendly appeal. I know it's really that Elenium style, and it has changed a little bit over the years, but to me, it's just a little overused at this point, and I would like a little bit of a mix-up, please. I think there are a couple songs on every album where I could pick out and say like, hey, this sounds exactly like the last album, just with different vocals. Hey, this sounds exactly like something from this album, just with different vocals or a different narrative, and it's just like, ah, okay, I, we could use a little bit more creativity in this next project. This isn't a blanket statement, though, because I think Lenium has done a lot of cool, unique, creative stuff in the last couple years that is really good and stuff I really, really love. Like, Good Things Fall Apart is my favorite Lenium song of all time, and just because it's made for pop radio friendliness, it doesn't mean I hate it. But this one, this whole album felt like it just was lackluster. In the end, Elenium's fourth studio album is plagued with uninspired production and distant lyrical narratives. Almost everything on this project is geared towards commercial success and is a far cry from what he was originally producing back in 2016. This is the third album in a row that is a downgrade from the last and the second in a row that is a significant downgrade from the last and it is a worrying trend for me. With more features that took value away from the project rather than adding in, the whole thing just felt bland. His style that I've dubbed uh, commercial melodic dubstep is so formulaic at this point, I knew pretty much what the whole album was going to sound like before it even dropped. There were a few pleasant surprises here and there for me, but for the most part, it just kind of flopped. And with that, Elenium's Fallen Embers album is going to score a 5. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtie Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think this is going to be a bit of a spicy take. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below there. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Let me know in those comments, obviously. And I will see you guys in another video.